Howdy gamers, Aeon is here, and I'm ready to start the campaign for Quadriga, the heavyweight champion of the turn-based chariot racing, um, well I guess the only game for turn-based chariot racing, and it's a great game, I love to play it. It's one of those games that sits in the back of your Steam library, and you look at it going, why did I buy that? And whenever you start the game up, it's just like, oh, that's why. And you can't stop playing, and next thing you know, it's 6 in the morning and you haven't gotten any sleep. So, let's start up the campaign. I plan to be the purple people eaters, because that served us pretty well in the first race. So, Purpura. The politicians trained the most cunning Arigas, and they come with large, ornate chariots. Arigas, by the way, are the name of the chariot drivers. So, they come with skill, makes tight curves easier to take, and improves outcomes from crashes and lacerations. Um, so that means our drivers are harder to kill whenever they're being dragged along the ground. Uh, quality improves chariot acceleration and size heavier chariot causes uh, and resists more damage so durability and speed I can live with that so we are the politicians and we like purple by the way the politicians are purple for a reason um, the purple dye was the most expensive so the rich politicians were the ones that could uh, afford it. Hence why the royal Romans uh, all wore purple. There you go, a little bit of history and our team name is going to be Proximo's Purple Oh man I can't even type in Proximo's Revenge just Proximo. All hail Proximo, the trainer of Maximus. Are you not entertained? Uh, let's do random names. Um, no, 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 no. Maximus. Spartacus. And Steve. Ten bucks says Steve is the only one that survives. Alright, so now we decide the difficulty level and static or dynamic turns. Static turns means there's a pause at the end of each turn. Dynamic turns means you choose the action for the next turn as the turn goes on. So it's kind of like a like non-stopping, smooth turn-based. I prefer static turns because that gives me a chance to think. Um, and I'm going to go with normal campaign because this is hard enough. If I manage to uh, finish this too fast, I might start another um, campaign on very hard just to see what happens. So let's go ahead and pick a city. You can decide where you want um, anywhere in the Roman Empire. Each uh, region has its own perks. Uh, let's see... Uh, Spain sounds good. Uh, livestock, half price, veterinarian services. That's actually very good considering the horses get injured quite a lot. So, Micro Briga. City victory is zero, 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 zero. But here's what I was talking about in the first video. The winner gets 5,400, second gets 1,800, third gets 1,350, but just finishing gets you 900 denarius. So the goal here is survival. Until you get an awesome chariot, an awesome rider, and awesome horses, your goal is survival. So this is a really short U-shaped track where we get a running start and let's just try not to kill one of our riders in the first race. So let's go and manage our riders. Each one has skill, the chariots have quality and size, and nothing for the horses so far. I don't have any denarius 
uh, to buy better stuff. The harder, bigger tracks that you race on, um, the better stuff you can buy. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, so let's just go ahead and race. Maximus, let's do this. So each race, there's something random that happens. So right now, there's a bribed opponent. One of your worst opponents has been bribed to break after the first turn. And you can bet on the race, either giving you a ton more money or losing what you bet. The only thing is that you have to finish first to win the bet. But we don't have any money right now, so we're not worrying about that. We're just worried about uh, that betted opponent. Now, as I said in the uh, first video, there's a certain amount of lanes to this track. So it looks like this one might have close to six-ish. And as you can see, there's a lot more than six riders. Um, so there's going to be a little bit of overlapping, and it's important for us to f spread out fast to get ahead of everyone else because if you get stuck behind you're gonna get cut off a lot and you're gonna rear end some chariots and get slower um, also as in the first video it, it, it's kind of random where you start each race and once again we're in the outside lane which is pretty bad considering we don't have a very fast chariot so we need to get inside and ahead as soon as physically possible so just to start the race and hope we don't hurt the horses let's whip the horses and try and get ahead of this guy here oh it looks like he's faster than us the neat thing is that each chariot each horse each rider has different visual styles depending on what they have in skills so you can just look at a guy without mousing over him and eventually figure out what they have um, for instance the inside curve on these chariots means they're the most fragile the straight line like I have is middle of the road and eventually you'll see the bigger chariots with an outer curve and that's stronger the color of the chariots means speed um, each type of horse has a different color and each rider depending on skill and whatnot has a different color and a different type of helmet so eventually we'll be able to recognize that I forget what exactly it is right now but let's keep whipping the horses so that guy just hurt his horse he's gonna be um, not too much to worry about in the late game. He's still fast now, but eventually the horses are going to tire. So, Unabelos, let's uh, watch him in the late game. These two guys are breaking away, but this is going to turn real violent real fast. So, I'm wondering uh, how many's going to take out each other, and we got to watch out for debris. I'm not going to whip my horses because if this guy slows down, I'm just going to run into the back of him and hurt my horses and slow down. So let's just try and achieve max speed safely. Unfortunately, we're in last place, but you only get three laps. And the thing is, is that these three laps are much longer as you saw in the first video they take a while and a lot of things can happen so let's try to break away to the center as fast as physically possible I went over three lanes which is the maximum amount that you can go over and the cool thing is is that changing lanes actually doesn't do anything for your speed you still travel at the same speed so you can shuffle in and out of lanes, and as long as you don't hit anybody, you're fine. So I'm right next to a guy. I'm right behind a guy. Things might change really quickly, and I'm doing fine throughout this turn. I'm not going my full speed because I can still accelerate. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch to avoid aggressions because I'm worried about the um, Octor 
Octocator. Okay, wow, your mother must have loved you. Octocator. Um, I'm worried about him ramming me and killing one of my horses. So I'm going to watch to avoid aggressions, and uh, so is he. And there you go. Oh, I, I, for a second there, I thought he turned his chariot, but the guy in first almost did. Um, so I'm still in last place. I'm going to break over one because I'm, I'm worried about this guy where my mouse is slowing me down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the inside one lane to make me faster. And hopefully I can pass these guys up and approach the front. But like I said, I'm shooting for survival here. If I can happen to make a little more money by getting first, second, and third, bring it on. But survival is key. I don't want to roll my chariot, but I'm, I'm rolling green here. So I think I'm pretty safe one lane in. There we go. One guy died already, and it's the first one. Someone hit his chariot. Two people hit his chariot. He has a danger of getting run over by Mr. Indo. And uh, this guy's stunned from hitting that chariot, so he can't do anything for one turn. Now, I'm next to him. And I think he's going to be slower than me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel at my normal speed. Or I can accelerate. Hmm. See, here's where this game gets awesome. And you have a strategic choice to make. Because I've got Maximus. And I'm right next to Mr. Sosenbiru. And I've got a feeling that he's going to ram me in order to damage my horses and slow me down. So, I can watch his aggressions in order to prevent his ramming. I can accelerate to my maximum speed in order to try and catch up with these guys. Or I can ram him or whip him in order to try and eliminate him from later in the race. So what would Batman do? He would kill him. And of course he accelerated so I missed completely. And so I'm rolling last place. Well, not technically last place because that one guy who rolled his chariot's about to die. Yeah, here's what I was talking about. Um, he was probably hit by another guy because his four horses right there underneath my mouse um, are racing alone. There's no rider with them. So I no longer have to worry about any aggressions. So I'm just going to go ahead and accelerate as fast as physically possible because I don't think I'd be going fast enough to worry about this turn. Yeah, I'm yellowish green, so I'll be doing fine. I'm going to control to ensure stability anyway and hope that these guys eat each other and uh, give me a better chance to race. Now, this may look safe. I've got green all the way through, but I am still in the turn. And it doesn't matter what happens if you are in the turn. It doesn't matter if you're halfway through, just starting, or just ending. I am still in the turn. So I still have a chance to roll my chariot and kill my guy. Um, so I'm still going to ensure to. You know what? Screw that. I'm going to accelerate and try to take my place with these guys up front. As you can see right here, there's a little bit of de debris on the track. That's not going to hurt if you roll that over. That just shows that one of these riders uh, tried to whip another guy, and the other guy stole his whip. So one of these riders is unable to whip anymore. Um, I'm assuming it's one of the guys up front because this guy has absolutely no, nobody to whip. Um, so I've still got to worry about Mr. Sosenbiru. And I'm going to accelerate because this is still yellowish green. It's not red or yellow. Um, so I'm going to take a risky maneuver, but it's, it's only about like 80% risk. So let's go. Ah. I damaged my chariot, but it's barely enough to even see. 
So I think I'm fine. Let's just keep on racing and see what happens. Um, in case this guy happens to be massively slower than me, I'm going to watch aggressions. Yeah, he's whipping his horses, and he's still only as fast as I am. So that's going to damage him in the long run because he'll he'll hurt his horses, and in the last lap or so, he will... Oh, this is the last lap. When we pass this, it'll be the last turn, and that's the straightaway to the finish. So, survival is key, and I have an orange thing here. Uh, I am not going to finish first, second, or third. So I'm going to be safe. And uh, I want to go out two lanes to ensure safety. But if I go out two lanes, I'm going to end up hitting this chariot. So I'm going to only go out one lane. And I can't ensure stability because my action was changing lanes. So I still have a risk of turning over. Ah, here we go. That guy, Mr. Sosenbiru, he killed one of his horses. And he is stunned because his chariot ran over his own horse. Um, doesn't really do anything except for the fact that his team is going to have to replace that horse. So I'm going to go all the way to the outside or else I'm going to hit this chariot and kill one of my horses or chuck my rider off the chariot or something. And I'm just going to finish <clears throat> and take the money, race again. So good job, Maximus, for finishing your first race. Let's see what happens just if I go left. Yeah, as you can see, I go the same speed. I don't have to worry about anything. Uh, oh, man. Bummer for him. He just killed his guy after finishing the race or wrecked his chariot his team is gonna have to replace that even though he's AI AI doesn't really have to worry about money but still not a smart decision just to uh, I don't know prevent any aggressions just to take it safe I'm gonna watch aggressions from him because whether he beats me or whether I beat him it doesn't matter we're not gonna be third place oh wow I made a mistake that was not the last turn I, I was wondering about that because people usually don't wreck after the last turn. I thought that was the third dot. Okay. See, I'm relearning this game because it sat in the back of my Steam library for so long, and now whenever I brought it out again, I'm like, oh, this game's effing awesome, and, well, I forgot how to play. So, let's go inside two lanes ah, I hurt one of my horses not too much though I'm still fast I'm catching up to these guys how many people do I have to catch up with there's one two three four so I'm in fifth place and well I'm about to be fourth because this guy's gonna have to either die or run for safety um, I'm, I'm still going for survival here because I'm not going to finish third. Uh, I'm going top speed and the only way is to whip my horses which I'm going to save for the last straightaway because that's a short term speed boost. It'll kill you in the late game so you got to either do it at the very start to get a head start or the very end in order to beat someone on the last straightaway. So let's just keep doing what we're doing. Um, I'm going to try not to run into these horses that are in my lane. Uh, but they're, looks like they're just as fast as I am, so I don't have to worry about them. Man, that guy has three horses, and he's still going as fast as I am. Oh, boy. Um, orange in this lane. 
I'm going to the right as far as physically possible because I don't want to hit that. I don't want to hit that. And I don't want to hit that, which this guy's about to do. Oh, he actually dodged it. Now, this guy's going to catch up to me. He's going to pass me. But I'm willing to put money down that Mr. Sosenbiru is going to roll his chariot or hit this horse or damage his chariot or something else terrible, all for getting the same amount of money that I am. See, he's actually going inside, and there you go. He actually killed himself because he ran into his own chariot. Let's see what happens with him. He's going the same speed, the same way. Um, and see, look, one, two, three, four people have killed themselves on this race. That's what I was talking about, where you're racing for survival. And the computer's actually pretty smart, so... Ah, and he got cut off by these horses just running by themselves. Hurting his horse, too. And these people are going uh, minimum speed, so this is the last trade away. I don't have to race anybody. They've all finished, so I'm going to ensure stability and save the health of my horses. I don't want to whip them and hurt them because um, it'll take longer for the vet to heal them up despite uh, Spain having better veterinarians. So there we go. That's the first race from Maximus. And we got 900 denarius, which should cover, cover vet bills, damage, anything we want. Um, wow, Mr. Sosenbiru was actually uh, one of the leaders. And Tureno, who was in this race, has won five times, and he got himself injured. Uh, despite being second place, I guess he was the one being dragged along the ground. You can still finish the race. The only thing you have to do is get your body across. Whether you're being dragged along the ground in your chariot doesn't mean crap. You got to get your body across. Oh, there he is right there. Um, looks like he's about to be run over by other horses. So let's go back to the city and I'll do one more race before calling this a video. Let's see what we get. We still have no victories. Um, nine teams are gonna be participating in this. Uh, finished one out of one. Let's see, the local city re leaders. There's Mr. Torino, he's hurt. Um, wow, we got a lot of people to worry about. There's a lot of five victory people at this, like basically minimum level track. Any more information about this? No. All right, so let's go to manage our team. Um, Maximus is not going to race. He needs one turn to uh, repair, to heal, to get his horses in shape. As you can see, there's a yellow bar. That, that means the time it'll take to heal. There's no red, so next week he's going to be up and running. So, it's either Spartacus or Steve. Now, Spartacus is a gladiatorial hero with a lot of experience in violence and blood in the arena. So he knows what he's doing. Let's, let's pick six Steve. Let's give him some experience. So what happened? Ah, oh, crap. There's an extra lap. There's plenty of time. Race will last four laps. This is either very good or very bad. I have to stay away from every other computer because they're going to be hurting each other. They're going to be hurting their horses. They're going to be tiring them out. I need to stay slow and steady. This is the definition of slow and steady because I... And there's one more lap. You saw how crazy things got with three laps. Well, here we go. I'm still on the outside. What the hell? Oh, well. 
at the very start, I'm going to whip my horses just to try and get ahead. It looks like I'm going to get ahead of these two guys, but of course, you know, I hit one of my horses on the very start. So that'll slow me down for the rest of the late, that, the rest of the race, just because of that decision at the very start. And once again, to achieve top speed, a lot of these guys have better horses than me. They have helmets, so that means they're a little bit more durable when it comes to their riders. I'm going to go in two lanes, because despite being in the safe in the outer lane, I would rather be on the inside and uh, have a shot at catching these guys. Now, he rammed into the back of me, so he hurt one of his horses, but he's got badass horses. He doesn't even have to worry about any of that. I'm green here, and so I don't have to ensure stability. I mean, it would be safer to do so. I'm more worried about this guy going around here and whipping me as he goes around, so I'm going to watch aggressions. And I didn't have to worry about any of that. These two guys, they got on the outer lanes. Everybody went a little too fast, except for me and Mr. Talskubilos. Man, these guys had angry mothers. So, I've got to worry about Biukalos, or Biukal, or that guy. Tetibas. Tate boss. Ah, screw it. I'm racing. I don't have to worry about their names. They're going to be dead by the end of this race anyway. Um, I'm going to ensure stability. No, you know what? I'm going to go in one more lane. And if I damaged one of my horses. Boom. Right there. One guy dead. Two guys ran over his chariots. They're only stunned, though. They don't have any permanent damage. Um, I'm going to try and whip Mr. Tatebos in order to slow him down and ram these two guys um, so that they get permanent damage and I don't have to worry about them even in the late game. Uh, he tried to ram him, but that guy's faster. Now, this guy, Mr. Gindo, I feel sorry for him because he has to either hold on and try not to die or he can let go or and run for the outer arena. The thing is, is if he lets go to ensure his life, this guy's going to run him over. So he has to wait and hope he survives um, until he gets a free spot. But it looks like uh, Mr. Indo's going to die. So he's red. I feel sorry for the Roman army. I'm a little bit light green here, and I don't think I'm going to get any hostile behavior from anybody, so I'm going to ensure stability just to make sure I don't end up like Mr. Indo there. I can just see the scene from Ben-Hur. They're whipping each other from chariot to chariot. Oh, here we go. I'm faster than Mr. Tate to boss, and I think he's going to try and ram me. However, I'm going to take that risk, ensure my stability, and try and pass him up so that my chariot's along with his horses and I can ram his horses to hopefully kill one of them. No, he changed lanes. There we go. We got some nasty behavior back here. We got some whipping and ramming. These two guys hate each other. I am in fourth, and I've got a shot on this as long as I keep my horses healthy. Um, I feel safe in this lane. I think if I go one lane in to get faster, um, I'll start getting some nasty turns. So I'm going to try and stay where I am and hurt anybody who passes me. Uh, let's see what happens there. Just in case this guy does something freaky or this guy changes lanes back in here, I'm going to crash to the right. And this is more of a defensive maneuver just to ensure that nobody gets here.
Yeah, there we go. He's going faster. And so about when he gets here... There we go. Now, that hurt, or that horse is nearly dead. I don't have to worry about him for the rest of the race because this is a four-lap race, and we're only, like, on lap two. His rider is nearly dead. I mean, one more whip hit. It will do him in, and I... I think that lane is the one with the chariot sitting in it, so may God have mercy on his soul. Yeah, he's going to be sitting in the back for the rest of the race. These guys, they go to the outside lane. He almost hits that chariot. This guy did hit the chariot. Um, play it safe. Play it long. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm only stunned, but this guy, he's dead. I don't have to worry about him. Wow, I need to stay out of this lane or I'm dead on the next lap. This guy's dead, his horses are dead. Okay, this lap made the lane I'm in a death trap. I will hit two chariots, two horses, and a corpse. I guess you don't really run into the corpse, but it's an ethical thing. So, I need to go to the lane inside and hit nothing, but make sure I have stability before I go into the turn, or I can go to the lane outside and only hit one chariot. Ugh, that's what makes this game awesome, is these strategic decisions. I'm still... Well, I'm in... Ooh, I'm actually in one, two, three, four, fifth. No, I'm in sixth place, soon to be fifth place. But I'm pretty sure one of these guys is going to do something funky and get into the death lane that I'm in. So let's just see what happens. This guy's got to let go or else he's going to die quick. He should let go because nobody's going to hit him right now. He's safe. The key to this game, though, is the turns. I caught up so much with uh, Mr. Tauskubilos just from being two lanes in. I'm now almost completely caught up with him. I don't want to whip my horses just yet because I know we have still a long way to go. I'm just going to keep ensuring stability and hope that he whips one of his horses to being hurt. Like that. All right, I can go to the beginning of this turn and be safe because I'm not going to go into the turn yet. There we go. He let go. Um, kind of wish he would have gotten ran over. That would have saved me a lot of trouble. Oh, here we go. I probably should have went one lane in so I could see he, how safe this turn was going to be. What would Batman do? Batman would risk it. Come on, Steve. Be a man. Oh, my God. Yeah, there we go. And it was orange. You could see from that little arrow over off to the side here. But that was an awesome decision for me. I gained a lot of speed from that. There's one more chariot in the death lane. Um, how many people are in front of me? I'm in fourth. I need to catch up to this guy because I need some monies. Let's do this. Taking it a little slow, but you never know what's going to happen. Someone could roll their chariot or get bumped into the death lane. Anything could happen. Whip their horses to the point where one dies. You never know. So this is orange. A little dangerous, um, but I'm going to ensure stability. So probably the worst that's going to happen is I get bumped out one lane. Nope, hurt my tire, but that's fine. That, that'll be repaired in one week. So, my horses are still relatively healthy, and these guys are getting slower and slower. So now's the point where you got to hit the nitro. Time to whip the horses. 
Unfortunately, he's in my lane. He's really freaking slow. I got to pass him. If I pass him, I'm going to be in third. Go out one lane. Because I can always go out. Oh, man. I'm stuck in the death lane. Shit. I'm going to go out two lanes. It'll slow me down a ton, but then I'll hit the nitro and try and pass him. Because I don't want to hit this either. If my guy gets stunned, I'll waste a lane. Oh, my horse, horse has gotten hurt. Yeah, that guy was in the death lane. There we go. He has nothing to worry about now. If I can pass that second guy, that'll be awesome. I'll get a payday. This guy is super effing slow, so I'm going to pass him. Second place for the win. Steve is the boss. Bow before his majesty. Oh, crap. No. Oh, crap. Bronze for the win. Steve is better than Maximus. Gladiator 2, The Wrath of Steve. So, once again, that's Quadriga. I'll start off the next video with managing the uh, damage dealt in this race. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to take a look at that like button. If you're still here, you obviously like the video. If you're not here, well, then you didn't. So, see you later, gamers, and uh, Quadriga 2 coming up next.